Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Dasky here with another Crash of Cars gameplay. Now in my previous video, I told you I was going to get more than 50 crowns with the forklift after dying twice so close to the 50 crown mark. And what I've done is, well, you're going to see in this video what I've done, whether I've made the 50 crown limit or I've fallen just short of the 50 crown limit. So as you can see, I'm currently rocking the golden forklift and it looks absolutely amazing. And for any of you that are new to the channel, if you don't know, the forklift was one of the new cars added in this Crasher Cars update so i'll go ahead and click the upwards arrow and we'll just jump straight into the mind map so we're currently joining the mind map and we'll spawn off in the bottom corner of the map and straight away my oil barrel drop but the person in the dragon car fortunately manages to drive away and not get hit but now i've got the spread cannon so i'm gonna go ahead and activate them to destroy all the cars in my path and pick up all these crowns unfortunately the dragon car did take a lot of them but he's destroyed now and i'm already on 11 crowns with only a few seconds into the game so i saw the train was coming then so i wanted to get away off that train track as fast as i can and avoid this missile that I just dodged and if you didn't know I'm sure most of you know by now you can spin around in circles to avoid those missiles or you can wait till it's just about to hit you and or chuck a sharp right or left turn in order to avoid it so now I've got my shield activated and like I said in my previous video what I do is when I have my shield is I stay around this center area of the map where the train is that way when any trains come they will be able to destroy anyone in their way that way I can easily pick up their crowns so I saw someone there was on 20 crowns in the hot dog car so I destroyed their car and I'm still playing around in this center map and as you just saw one of the cars got hit and I'm going to go and pick up their crowns. So that's what's very useful about this map. You don't need to do any of the killing. You can just let the trains do it and you won't be affected at all. But what you need to be careful of is that you're playing with fire. So you need to get out of there just before your shield runs out. That way you don't take any damage. So now I'll drive around. I've got my rear cannon and I'll try and pick up a few more easy crowns just laying around on the ground. That way I can boost my total over 50. I'm just going to keep following the path of them and just keep picking them up. And there's no enemies around me. So I'm just going to be playing around here. I teleport away from one of the enemies but I'm still on 38 crowns with no cars around me. So I'm just going to be playing a relaxed gameplay style as no one's challenging me. But now I've got the boost so now I'll boost straight through my enemy and destroy them to steal their crowns. So now I'm on 39 crowns but I've got a very low amount of health left so I want to be playing a bit conservative. And I just gave damage to that car but he's still following me. So hopefully this power up gives me health but unfortunately it isn't health but it's still alright and I'm still safe for the current time. So what I'm doing now is I'm just driving around. I know where all the power-ups are on this map. That way I'm just going to follow the path of them and try and pick up some that are useful such as the shield or the health in this situation because I'm currently very close to the 50 crown limit and I need to be very safe. And I'll drop my landmines on the person with the flamethrower and that will drive into them and die. But check out this dodge. Person with the front cannon is shooting and I spun around them and avoided them which was very very lucky. So right now I'm on 48 crowns. I'm so close to the 50 crown limit. I'm playing very smart. There's a lot of cars following me. I see the ambulance is behind me. I'm kind of hoping he drops his health forward so I can pick it up. I've got 49 crowns and I've got the landmines and I see there's a car coming for me so I turn away and there's a crown right there but I miss bruh, it and I bruh, got destroyed. Bruh. Hello darkness my old friend I've come to talk with you again And my reaction went something a little like this Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here and I'm more determined now than ever. 49 crowns, when I died I was so angry. So now we'll spawn again in the bottom corner of the map. Hopefully this gameplay we have a bit more luck and we don't die on the 49 or 48 crown limit. And hopefully we can get to that 50 crown limit. So I dropped my oil barrel. Unfortunately the person didn't die because I had full health but I gave him a lot of damage. So now I've got the boost and I'm driving around. Hopefully I can find someone on a good amount of crowns so I can boost straight through them and steal their crowns. So I drive around, pick up a few more crowns because no one's around me and I'm trying to find someone but I go over the oil and I skid out of control. So I line up someone and bam they get destroyed on 9 crowns and I'm just going to pick up their crowns nice and easy with this person following me behind me. So I'm already on 19 crowns which is very good and I'm on it very quickly. So I try to line up that boost then but unfortunately I did miss because it was right behind me. 
but I'll activate my shield right in the middle of all these people where the most chaos is occurring and hopefully the train can come around very quickly to destroy them and as I see the train lights are coming and it did take out one of the players but it didn't look like he died so I didn't bother going over to where he was to pick up his crowns. So now I just cause a little bit more chaos, let all my enemies hit each other and damage each other. That way they can destroy themselves and I'll just swoop in for the crowns as I often do. I'll use my front cannon there so I can try and get another power up. I was kind of hoping it'd be mines or the reverse cannon or something like that so I could destroy the enemies behind me. But I got the shield which is very good. So like I always do, I come back to the middle of the map. And just a tip when you're playing this game, never activate the shield when there's no enemies around you. Only activate it when you're about to get hit by something the enemy uses, such as you're about to crash into them or you're about to get hit by one of the power-ups. That way you're not wasting any valuable time with the shield so you can maximize its use and always drive into the enemies when you've got it active that way you can give them damage and you're not going to receive damage so i've got this guy following me now with the flamethrower but i dropped my landmines on him so i destroyed him i was very very lucky to get the landmines there otherwise he would have just followed me and destroyed me because our cars were about the same speed and even here that car was faster than me i dropped my landmines but i didn't destroy him but i managed to get away so I'm driving away now, all these cars are following me, I keep getting landmines and I keep dropping them to scare them away, but they aren't going away. I'm on 45 crowns right now with very little health. It's a few games after I died on 49 crowns, so I want to play very, very safe and I want to get this 50 crown limit. And I see all these crowns here, so I drive straight over and pick them up and there we go. Over 50 crowns for you ladies and gentlemen. I activate the shield again when someone else has a flamethrower. So I'll keep picking up more crowns. When I saw those crowns, it was like... So I'll go ahead and pick up the power item. I'm not too sure what it is because I still have the shield active. But I'll drive around, try and get these enemies away from me. That way I can keep getting more crowns. So I've got the boost and I'm not going to activate it unless I need to or I see another power up. And I do, so I use it but I missed the power up so it was kind of pointless. But doesn't matter because I'm already over 50 crowns. And now I've got the re cannon. So I'll just drive away, there's no enemies following me so I'm kind of relaxed. But I just saw an enemy spawned into the game and he's already trying to get me. So I kind of turn with my re cannon, shoot him a couple of times. I manage for him not to hit me through using my brakes and sharp turns and all that. Drop some oils in case he's still following me, that way he skids off course. But I'm just going to be driving around the side of the map, playing smart, see how many crowns that I can get until I unfortunately die. So I see I had the shield then, so I dropped my flamethrower straight away. And I'm heading straight for the middle of the map where I can activate it and be safe in the middle of the map. And hopefully some of the other cars can get destroyed. So I think that dragon got destroyed, so I'm going to go over to where he was, pick up his crowns, but I think he was only on a few crowns, so he didn't drop too many. So I'm on 68 crowns at the moment, I've got the shield active, I'm not too sure what to do now, but my shield just went away and I went to pick up some more crowns and I see these enemies are following me, I don't know whether to turn back for the crowns and pick them up, I do it, but unfortunately I died. But nonetheless, 69 crowns for you ladies and gentlemen, managed to get over the 50 crown limit. If you want to see me try to get over 50 crowns with any other cars in the game ladies and gentlemen please be sure to comment that down in the comment section below what car you want to see me get over 50 crowns with next and if you like this video please be sure to smash that like button and if you're new be sure to subscribe for some more awesome crash of cars content also i've currently been looking into how to do live streams so i can live stream for you guys and you guys can join my games and play with me so I've been putting in a lot of work into that and I think I may know how to do it. So I'm going to start hopefully live streaming within the next week or so so I can play with some of my subscribers and fans and allow you to have the opportunity to try and take down the legendary King Dask. Now also I just want to give a quick shout out to the Crasher Cars Players Facebook page. I'll link that in the description of this video. But essentially what this is is players have created a Facebook page and they tell you when they're doing private matches to help them get the hidden cars or the horizon car or any other cars that are difficult in the game and they often have like mini tournaments between themselves such as 2v2 tournaments and i think it's pretty cool so if any of you guys need help getting any cars in crasher cars i would recommend joining that facebook page now i hope you enjoyed this video and for now dasky out